Hello children, welcome to Malaradi Memorial School Digital Classes. In this video, let us discuss the grammar part of Unit 2 C. V. Raman, the Pride of India. Children, here are some grammar part. Read the following sentences from your lesson and observe the observe how the underlined words are used before dates, years, and the names of places. Here are four sentences. These four sentences are uh, from your lesson only. The first sentence is Raman was born on November 7, 1888. This sentence has taken from 6th paragraph. The underlined word is on. This is the second sentence. Raman was uh, Sorry, Raman passed away in 1970 on November 21. This line has taken from paragraph 11. The third one is Raman did his MA course at Presidency College in Madras. This line has taken from paragraph 6. And the underlined word in this uh, sentence is at and uh, in. The fourth one is in December. On a fine evening in 1927, there was much excitement. This line has taken from first paragraph of the lesson. Children, on, in and at are prepositions. And they are the prepositions of time and place. Children, what is mean by preposition? Preposition is a word that shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and some other words in a sentence. Preposition shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and some other sentences or some sorry some other words in a sentence. A preposition placed before a noun or pronoun. This preposition is placed before a noun or pronoun. You can see that in the in these sentences. Number is a noun, and the preposition placed before it, and presidency college is also noun. 1970, and these uh, preposition is placed before the nouns in these sentences. Children. On, in, and at in the sentences tells us the prepositions of time and place. Let us see. In the first and second sentence, on is used before date. That is November 7 and November 21. Okay, that is the date. And in the sentence 2, 3 and 4 in is used before a year 1970 before the name of a big city in the third sentence at sorry here before the name of a big city like Madras and before the name of a month here in the fourth sentence you can see before the name of a month children you just observe here in december here on november so here here he has given only the month but here we can see on november 21 after now 21 only we can see comma okay so this is the date and this is the month okay so i hope you understand the difference here also november 7 november 7 is the date number 21 is the date but in december only december we are not mentioning any date in this fourth sentence okay yes in third sentence at is used before name of a small place yeah here at is used before a 
small place presidency college is a small place in the city madras these are all the prepositions and let us discuss them in detail on is used before dates and names of days yes as i told you in the beginning on is used before dates and names here are some examples so that you can understand clearly meet me on monday yeah on monday so we used on before day monday so she has a exam on 5th august here the, in this sentence also we can see on in before date 5th august is the date so in the third sentence she will come to india on thursday so on thursday thursday is a date so we have seen uh, three examples on the on how to use on and where to use on this is the time of preposition and place of preposition okay so coming to the second one in in is used before the names of months and years in is used before the names of months and years here are some examples so that you can uh, clearly understand raman won the nobel prize in 1930 raman won nobel prize in 1930 so 1930 is a year we use in before the years i was born in april so i was born in april in april is a month so here we cannot find any date april is the month we are saying that's it april 1st april 2nd we are not saying like that april is the month and i passed in may in 2006 yeah here is the here is the year ramu completed ssc in 2008 this is also year and she will marry him in october so this is also a month so we use in before months and years coming to the at at is used before exact time and names of small places or area at is used before exact time okay let us see the examples meet me at 5 pm so here uh, he is telling that meet him at 5 pm at 5 pm 5 pm 5 pm is a sharp time okay so we used exact time that's why we use at in before 5 pm the exam starts at 9 am so 9 am is also an exact time that's why we use at before 9 am it was cold at night so at night we are saying particular night that's why we use at she lives at saraswati nagar in nizamabad so saraswati nagar is a small place or small area in nizamabad district so we use uh, at before small places and we use in we use in before cities and big places so i used in before nizambad because nizambad is a big city so i used in and uh, i used at before saraswati nagar because saraswati nagar is a small place or small area in nizambad district in the same way you can also see one more example i am at kalilwadi in nizambad so nizambad is a town and i used in and at is a at is used as used before small places like kalilwadi so kalilwadi is a small place that's why i used at and uh, nizambad is a, a big place or city that's why i used in so before small places we use at and before big places we use we use in so these are the examples children so now fill filling the blanks with the in or on or at i will read it sharad chandra and keetana are brothers and sisters sharad chandra was born dash yeah you should put in or on or at in this blank on 25th april dash 2000 Kirtana was born dash December 2 2001 they are with their parents they live dash Masai Pet 
a village, a small village, dash Madhag district. They play games, dash school. It is usually very hot, dash May, dash their village. So they spend their summer, dash Hyderabad, dash their uncle's house. Mr. Sri Shailam is their uncle. He resides dash High Court Colony dash Hyderabad with his wife Jagadishwari and his daughter Vishnupriya. This is the paragraph with some blanks, blanks and you have to uh, fill the blanks with the suitable prepositions. You have to fill this paragraph with the suitable prepositions. I will tell you to, to understand clearly. So, Sachidanand, Sharat Chandra and uh, Keetna are brother and sister. Sharat Chandra was born dash 25th April. So, 25th April is the date. So, what should we use? We use on. Before dates, what should we use? On. So, Sharat Chandra was born on Sharat Chandra was born on 25th April. In uh, and in this blank, what should we fill? In because in is a year. Before years, what do we use? In. Okay. Sharat Chandra was born on 25th April in 2000. And Kirtana was born on sorry Kirtana was born dash. So in this blank also we should use on because December 2 is the date but not a month if it is December we should use in it because uh, but it is a date December 2 is a date so we should use on on December 2 2001 there with their parents they live dash Masai Pet a small village in Madhag district yeah, so Masai Pet, what is Masai Pet? It is a small village, means it is a small place or area. So what should we use? We should use at. We should use at because Masai Pet is a small village in Medak district. So we should use in in the blank. In this blank, we should use in. Okay, so in the same manner, you just complete all these uh, blanks and let me know in the class.